I was in the home section looking at all of the beautiful dishes and everything and you know how in home goods everything is just so crowded and then all of a sudden something caught my eye and when I saw it, I knew this is the perfect thing for my tea station. I fell in love with it and I have to tell you, I am so obsessed with this. I cannot wait to get my tea station decorated. Life is a wine. Hey guys, it's Christy. Welcome back to my channel. So I have a haul for you today, but I also need a couple things that I'm looking for from TJ Maxx. I have no idea if they're going to have it or not, but it's something to go along with one of the items that I have for my haul. So the original haul is from Home Goods and then some from the thrift store. I went a couple weeks ago and I got some spring and summer items from both of these places that I'm so excited to show you. But for one of the things, I need a couple of matches for it. And it was from the Goodwill is where I found it, but it was originally from TJ Maxx. So I'm coming to check it out just to see if they might happen to have it. Now they might not have it and I do have a second plan in case they don't have have it but I'm hoping they will just because it'll be cheaper if they do than my second option but I will show you all of that and I can't wait to show you what I have so if you're interested in seeing my spring and summer haul stay tuned not a sound sneaking out through your window into the night TJ Maxx. I did not find what I wanted, which I'm not surprised. I wasn't really expecting to, but I did find some other goodies that go with all of the other things that I bought from Goodwill and Home Goods. So this is going to be a big collective haul from all three places. And I'm going to start with Home Goods. I'm going to go through everything I bought there, and then we'll do Goodwill, and then we'll do TJ Maxx. So one of the things I was looking for when I went, I wasn't thinking specific items, but I knew I wanted to do a tea station. I don't drink coffee, so instead of like a coffee bar or coffee station, I wanna do a tea station in our butler's pantry, which is right there behind me. I decorated it for Christmas and loved it, and I thought it would be so nice to have a tea station. So I was looking for things that I could use in that, and I found this canister, which, it's just perfect. I love that it's white. This could be used anywhere around the house for decor. It could be put on a tray. It works anywhere. And the size is perfect. It's not too big, but not too small. It's sort of a medium size. I do wish I could have found a little bit larger one, but this was the biggest one that I found. And then they also had this size. So I thought these two together worked perfectly for my tea station or coffee bar if you had one. Um, but like I said, this is just the perfect thing that can be used anywhere in your kitchen or even different places around your house. This would look pretty in a bathroom, all sorts of different places and things you can do with this. So I'm gonna be using this when I make my tea station, which is gonna be coming up pretty soon. I'm gonna have a video for you on that. I'm still working on it. I have, you'll see all the things that I bought for it. So I'm still working on the ideas of how to put it together. So we might work through some of that together. I think I still have a few items I need to find 
for it. The things that I bought for it, I think will work for like spring and summer. So I'm leaning towards putting it together once and just keeping it up all summer long, this decorated this way. So we'll see. But this was the other thing that I found. I loved these two canisters. They're a little bit smaller than the other two, but what I liked about these is they have embossed flowers on them. So I just think these are perfect for spring, but I'll hold it up so you can see the difference. My hands are pretty small, so I'm trying not to break anything, but you can see the size difference between these two. So I'm not sure if I will use them all on the bar. I actually might. Um, I think they do kind of work together in a certain way. As long as you don't put them right next to each other, I think they work well. But I knew for spring I could always use these. And again, on a tray or any vignette, these would look great. Another thing that I'm trying to build a little collection of is marble um, serving items. So I recently bought around Christmas time a marble tiered tray with some gold on it. So that's in my tea station right now. So I'll be using that when I decorate. And I also have a marble tray. If you've seen any of my videos, you've probably seen that tray before, especially like my tablescape videos and any entertaining videos I've done. I've used that marble tray and I love them. They work with my decor. They're classic. I just think you cannot go wrong with them. So I found this dome. I don't have any cloches, so I like the fact that this was domed and could work as a cloche just for decor or if I had ever pastries or anything I wanted to serve, this always makes it look that much prettier. And I'm even thinking about buying maybe some fake pastries on Amazon and putting in here because I just think it would look really pretty with my tea station or some other vignette in the kitchen maybe. So you can see it's marble, it's really pretty, and you can just use the stand alone, or you can use it with the lid. You could use the lid on other items around the house, like another round plate or tray or something like that. So I think this is a very versatile item that I'm really looking forward to using. And this was $16.99, and I'll show you the bottom so you can see the little stand. So I think I'm gonna get a lot of good use out of this. Certainly for entertaining, this is gonna be a perfect thing to have. I was in the home section looking at all of the beautiful dishes and everything, and you know how in home goods everything is just so crowded? And then all of a sudden, something caught my eye. And when I saw it, I knew this is the perfect thing for my tea station. I fell in love with it and I have to tell you, I am so obsessed with this. I cannot wait to get my tea station decorated so I can put this in it. I'm not sure if the camera is gonna do this justice or not, but look at this gorgeous teapot. It has a little butterfly right here. It has the bee on the top, which I'm so obsessed with. I love the lemons. The green and yellow is so perfect for my color scheme in my home and just like kind of those vibrant colors that I want for spring, but I like that they're kind of muted and not too over the top. Um, you know, overpowering. And then this is perfect because outside we bought flowers for the little walkway by the swimming pool and they're yellow. So I think this is just gonna pull all the way out to the yard and bring that yellow in and bring this out. I just think it's perfect. So if you can't tell, I'm a little obsessed. And can you see the little bee right here? I just think this is so pretty. The one thing I'm still looking for, I don't have any fake lemons, and I typically don't like fake lemons and limes. I prefer the real ones, but for my tea station, I'm thinking it might be pretty to have some little lemons around, and I know they sell them like not just whole ones, but they also sell sliced ones. So I'm looking on Amazon for that, and I'm thinking about maybe getting some to go with this. So I bought the teapot, but they also had the cream and sugar, so I couldn't pass these up. I think these are just the cutest ever. And like I said, I love that it has the butterfly on it and the bumblebee. This reminds me of my aunt. She loved butterflies, so it just reminded me of her when I saw the butterflies. And the other thing is, if you can see kind of this lattice work, it's embossed lattice work on here. 
they're just gorgeous and then they have the gold trim which pulls in to the gold that I have with some of my marble pieces that I'm gonna be using my marble stand has the gold so these are just perfect I couldn't have asked for anything better the teapot was $12.99 and the cream and sugar were $4.99 a piece. So for that set, I think you can't go wrong with those prices. This is the only one in my store, so I grabbed it immediately when I saw it because I know it is gonna make the most amazing tea station. I'm so excited. And then on my way to the checkout, I stumbled upon these mugs, and as I was looking at it, I was like, oh my gosh, that is going to be perfect with this. So I do think some of the colors are a little bit different, but I do feel like it has the green and the yellow, which are in the same tones. I love the green on the rim here. Originally, I was planning to just have some white mugs, but when I saw these, I said, this is absolutely perfect. I have to get these. So I picked up four of the mugs. I couldn't decide whether to get two or four, and I went ahead and picked up four, and I think it's gonna look perfect in my tea station to have this right next to each other and then i just think these are pretty and drinking out of this in the morning will make me so happy so these were 4.99 a piece when i got home and took all of this out of the bag one of the first things i did was run to my cabinet and pull out this vase i've had this vase for years it's a balik vase from ireland i absolutely love it and you can see it has a little design on the back as well but I thought, how pretty are these together too? So if you were doing like a little table or um, something even, I'm not sure if I'll be able to use this on my tea station, but I know even to complement each other in different parts of the house, if I have this on my tea station and put this somewhere in the kitchen where it pulls those same colors, I just think it's gonna be beautiful and I just loved how they work together and even how this vase has all the embossing on it. So those are the things that I look for. When I was in the store, I knew that I already had this vase and that it was gonna work perfectly with this. So I was in love with this already anyway, but I was like, okay, that is gonna be perfect with the vase. So always think about that when you're in the store. What do you have at home that is likely gonna work with whatever it is that you're wanting to buy? Okay, I just have a few more things from Home Goods, and then we're gonna move on to Goodwill. I found this mug and I just thought it was the prettiest. I love the color of it and the design. And then on the inside, it has the blue. I thought this would be perfect for summer and, you know, kind of year round on my tea station if I want to switch it up a little bit. So I also have another mug that I bought recently that's in the same color tone, so I knew it would work with that. But I only have one of the other mug, and they only had one of this at the store. I was looking for more of these. I was gonna buy at least two of these, but I could only find the one. But the girl at the checkout told me that they do sell these, um, often that they get new shipments of these. So I'm thinking that I'll go back and look at some point to see if they have any more like this. But if not, I still thought this would be a mug that I would enjoy drinking out of in the morning. I've kind of gotten into mugs lately and wanting to like switch up my mugs. It just makes it fun in the morning or even in the afternoon, whenever I'm having my tea or my hot drink for the day, it's nice to kind of be able to switch up my mug. The next thing I have is something I don't typically buy and that's candles. I usually don't get candles because fragrances are so toxic for us. I just try not to bring them into my home if I can help it. But I did go to the candle section because I just think they're so great as just decor pieces. And I love the look of these candles. I loved the white frosted glass. So whether you turn it on the side where the label's not showing and use it this way, but I thought these labels were perfect with this tea set. So I ended up picking up two of these candles. This is the Red Leaf Home Candle. It's orange peel and honey. And this says that it's coconut and beeswax blend with essential oils. I'm skeptical as to whether or not this is just made with essential oils and no other fragrances. 
Um, I'm thinking of reaching out to the company to ask them, and I probably will. They smell amazing, but the smell is really strong, and usually with essential oils only, you don't get this strong of a scent. So I'm thinking it's kind of a marketing thing where it's not just essential oils because there's nowhere on here that it gives all the ingredients. So anyway, I'm gonna be using these as decor only pieces. I just couldn't resist them. And then while I was in the candle section, I also found this candle which is from Ray Dunn. This is a Ray Dunn and it said, find your happy. I just thought that was perfect. I love the lettering. I love that it was in gold. I'm not a fan of some of the Ray Dunn stuff because of the color. I just don't think works with my decor, but this had that same kind of white, pure white color and the gold that I thought would be perfect. Again, whether I use it on my tea station or just somewhere else in the house, I'm just using it as decor. I will not be lighting any of these candles, but I thought they were so pretty and I just couldn't pass them up. I almost forgot there was one more thing from Home Goods. this vase. I wasn't sure if I was gonna get it or not. I debated and debated on this. I love it. I love the color. Y'all know I'm a glass fanatic. I have glass all over my house. I think it's so elegant. There's so much you can do with glass. If you're wanting to elevate the look of your home and have a more elegant look, glass is definitely one of the ways to go. So I love it for entertaining. I love it for tablescapes, just for regular everyday decor. Um, this is Murano glass. I'm a huge fan of Murano glass. So. The only thing that I hesitated about on this is I wish it were just slightly bigger. It's a little bit small, but I also know it's going to work really well with the color scheme in my home. As you can see with the painting behind me, it just works perfectly in my home. So I went ahead and bought it and I'm thinking about possibly using it with like a candlestick or some type of something underneath it, maybe a little cupcake stand to make a stand for it so that it looks more substantial than what it really is. And it's not small by any means, it's just not quite as substantial as I would like it to be. I went to Goodwill right after I went to Home Goods. So I had already bought my teapot and my mugs so i kind of had that in mind when i went into goodwill and i was looking to see if they might have things that would go along with this when i walked into the store the first thing that i saw there was a table right when you walked in and when i walked in this is what i saw and can you imagine this definitely caught my eye now it's definitely a brighter tone than my teapot but I think that it definitely still works together, um, especially if you don't put them right side by side. And then I was also thinking I could probably paint maybe a little bit of white onto the yellow and onto the green just to tone it down a tad. I'm not positive if I wanna do that, but I think I could easily do that and tone down the colors just a little bit. But I also think if they're not completely side by side, they definitely do work together. And if you see, this has the butterflies on it, just like this has the bumblebee, but it also has the butterfly on the front. So I just thought they worked really well together. And if you look at it with the mug, again, it has the same colors. So this was $6 at Goodwill. It says that it was part of a three piece canister set, but this was the only piece that they had. So I grabbed this. I thought for sure that I could either use those all in my tea station, or again, I could put this maybe in a different spot in the kitchen and it just would help tie all of those colors together. So I'm not sure yet how I'm gonna use it, but I thought it was perfect. And then I found this. And again, I don't know why I just put that aside because I want you to see the colors together. So look at these colors. So this candle stand was just the perfect match again for everything. It works so well with the mugs, with the canister, and then with 
my teapot. So I don't know how I'm gonna be putting all of this together. I just thought there's no way I can't get all of these things. They're so springy. And I think they all work for summer too. So like I said, I'm probably gonna keep some of this up at least through the beginning of the summer. I'm not sure yet what I'm doing with my summer decor. I've been doing blue and I'm definitely gonna bring in some blue again this year. But I think for a while at the beginning of the summer, I'm probably gonna leave this up and do like the lemon and green theme. I'm just so in love with yellows and greens right now. Then I also found this picture and I thought, it was so pretty. Y'all know, I just love glass. I love anything crystal, anything glass. And I thought the cut work on this was absolutely gorgeous. So I was thinking like for Mother's Day coming up, I could do some kind of little vignette with this or just for summer, if I was doing like a summer tea station with my little teapot, and then have this as like a water. And I'm thinking like if I did a tea, um, like on a tray or something, how pretty would this be with some water sitting on the table along with this on a tray? I just think it would be the perfect compliment and so pretty. And the other thing with pictures like this, uh, I know you know this, but you know, I could just fill it with lemons and have it be decor, flowers, whatever. And then I also liked the little design and cut work on the handle as well. So I just couldn't pass this up. It was a little pricey, it was $15, but it is heavy. So I know this is a really good quality piece. So I was kind of okay paying that much for it. One of the things I'm always on the hunt for when I go to Goodwill or any thrift store are dishes. And I found this. When I saw this, it just caught my eye. I loved the greens in it. This is sort of, to me, it's probably considered a fall design, um, but I think it could be used year round. I think you could put flowers with this and putting the right color flowers and other things that you use on your table could make this spring, summer, fall. This is just year round. So I fell in love with it. If you look at my dining room, I mean, you can tell this is going to work perfectly in here. You can't see my drapes, but my drapes are that green, have the green in them. And these plates just work perfectly. So I picked up these, they had five, but I just grabbed four because I figured that would be a place setting. And while I was looking at these, not far away, I saw this one and I thought, oh my gosh, how perfect is this together? So I think this is the direction it's supposed to go when you put them together. I fell in love with this. They work so perfectly together. I don't know if the same person brought them in, but unfortunately there were only two of the larger plates. And this is what I went to TJ Maxx to see if they had, because on the back here, you can see this was originally from TJ Maxx. I ended up paying $2 for this at Goodwill. They were in good condition. I picked up the two, and I knew that I would be able to find something else that would work. So I went ahead and picked up these. Since I can't find them at TJ Maxx, I have no idea like how long ago these were there. So I'm not thinking I'm gonna ever find them there again. But I did go online and I was not able to find this particular brand online. Well, I found it at one site, but it was already sold out. It was like a whole set and they were sold out of it. So I went to replacements.com and I found something in the same color tones and it was a square shape that is similar. It was a much more expensive brand, but I am thinking that I'm gonna use this as a year round tablescape in my dining room. So I'm probably gonna bite the bullet and buy those. I'll put that picture on the screen here for you somewhere, here, there, wherever it ends up. But I'm gonna put that on the screen for you so you can see. I think it's gonna work perfectly with this one and even though they won't be 100% match, I think it will still work. And then I'll have four of these plates, which will tie it all together. So that's another tip, and I know I've told you this before, but always look at the thrift store and don't be afraid to buy 
things that are not a complete set because you can always find ways to match it as long as you keep those color schemes the same then you can match it later and then i found these champagne glasses i just love glasses and y'all know i have a love for stemware as well i like this one i love the shape of the stem the color of the green is perfect and again i mean look at this it's just perfect so i didn't have any i have regular glasses in green i have wine glasses in green i don't have the champagne glasses so i thought this would be perfect and i could set up a tray like maybe even my marble tray on the buffet here with these glasses in the background and they wouldn't even have to be on the table setting but it still help add to that look that i'm going for here in the dining room so this little saucer is from a set that i picked up on a different trip to goodwill it was not the same trip um, this was more last year after covid started it was like one of the first times i went out i saw this and i fell in love with it and i knew that i was going to want to use it this spring so i'm working right now on a tablescape using this so i thought i would go ahead and show you even though it wasn't specifically from this haul i hadn't shown it to you yet but i love the pink and the greens it doesn't have the yellow in it but i still think it'll carry over nicely into my kitchen because these are not backed up right together so i still think it's going to work with what i'm going to be doing in my butler's pantry but i'm excited about this tablescape it's going to be so pretty and i'm going to have that coming for you soon as well i'm going to be doing my um, tea station and then I'm also going to be doing that tablescape for you in videos very soon okay this video is definitely going to be long but hopefully you'll enjoy it I just I love hauls I love watching what people got you all know I'm chatty I try but you know it's just me so I found these two pictures at Goodwill and I know they're Christmas they're not spring or summer or year round but I thought they were so pretty and I didn't want to pass them up they work well with my Christmas decor, so I thought I would go ahead and grab these. I kind of have this pitcher thing going on lately where I'm liking like teapots and pitchers and all of that. So I thought these are going to be a perfect additions for my Christmas decor. And like I said, I just thought they were both so pretty, the colors and everything. And they work well with the Christmas teapot that I already have. All right, now I'm moving on to TJ Maxx. I just have a few items from there. So I found another Ray Dunn candle in that same white with the gold. Make today amazing. I love the sayings. I just love the positive sayings. I like the writing, the Ray Dunn font I do think is clean. Um, and it just works well with my decor. Like I said, I don't like all of her things because I don't think they fit my style of decor necessarily but I thought this did. When I say I don't like it, I just mean for my decor. I, I love all of the things she does. I just don't think they necessarily work with my decor. Then I found these sets of little cupcake stands. And there's four in a set for $7.99, I believe it was. Yes, $7.99. See the design on it? The only thing I'm not thrilled about with these is the ridge. I kind of wish they were just flat and then maybe had this below it, but I went ahead and picked these up anyway. I can always use more cupcake stands. I use them all the time for decor, for doing things like propping up candles, maybe put a little round glass in here with some flowers. So many things. Y'all know I use these all the times. The ones that I have from Target dollar spot I use all the time so two dollars a piece for these I didn't think was bad at all and coming in the set of four um, so I ended up getting two sets of those they had more and I thought about getting a third set but then I was thinking no I'll just stick with these for now because I really want to look for some later that are flat but I feel like I can never have enough of these I'm always using them for something and then I found this little marble salt keeper, which I thought was perfect because it had the bumblebee on top of it. So I just love this. Again, it brings in the marble with my little bumblebee theme that I have going on with my teapot. So 
I just thought this would be perfect as a little decor piece. I won't use it as a sock keeper because I'm probably not gonna keep it by the stove. I'm just gonna use it around the house somewhere for decor, maybe on my tea station, maybe somewhere else in another little vignette. And then I picked up this frame because I was thinking I could use it for a sign. I just like the color of it and I thought it would be perfect maybe on my tea station for some kind of little sign or somewhere around the house. I don't know, but I just liked it. And then I also picked up this little cake stand. Again, it's got all those same colors. It does have a little more red, but I thought the same thing about this. If I wanted to tone down like that red a little bit, I could probably just paint a little bit of white on it and tone it down. Again, I'm not sure if I will, but I figured that was an option. And other than that, I felt like it had all of the right colors. The yellows, the purples go with this, and of course the green, which I can also tone the green down a little bit if I needed to as well. So I, I'm so excited about my haul. I think I got some great items. I'm so excited because I just don't have a lot of spring decor to begin with. There's a few things I'm still looking for. Like I'm thinking maybe some little porcelain birds and maybe if I could find a bumblebee somewhere. And like I said, the lemons, um, the fake lemons and maybe some fake limes, little things like that that I'm still looking for. But Overall, I'm pretty pleased. I think I got enough that I'm gonna be able to do my T-bar. I keep talking about it, but I'm excited to get that done. Of all the things I bought, this is definitely my favorite. Like I said, I'm so obsessed with it, but I love everything that I found. I think this is one of my better hauls that I've had in a while. Um, I just love everything and I know I'm gonna use everything that I bought. So let me know if you had a favorite, what was it? Um, what colors are you loving this spring? Tell me all about it. I told you I'm obsessed with the yellow and greens and I think I might be into that for summer too. So let me know what you're loving this spring as far as colors go. And again, what was your favorite? And if you like this video, if you like hauls in general, then please give it a thumbs up. That helps out my channel so much. If you're not already subscribed, I would love to have you subscribe and join our community and then turn on your bell notifications so you'll get notified when all my new videos come out. And as always, thank you so much for watching. I appreciate you more than you know. I'll catch you in the next one. Bye.